your kingdom come, your will be done. In prayer, God changes our desires more than he meets our demands. This is why most people don't pray, because they don't want that. They want God to bless their goals, bless their ideas, bless their plans. They don't want God to mess with that, so they don't really pray. I'm not saying they don't say some words, but those words simply bounce off the ceiling and come back because they're not willing to turn their will over. And until you turn your will over to God, until you give God your will, you're not really praying according to Jesus. Because when you pray submissively, God changes your will. And what happens is, and you say, well, that sounds like fun. Now I know why I hate Christianity. Well, when God is able to mold your will, here's what happens. You begin to delight in doing his will. Wonderful verse in Psalm 37, 4. It says, if we delight ourselves in the Lord, he will give us the desires of our heart. And I remember reading that for the first time. I'm like, cool. So I do some God stuff, then I get to do what I want. I delight myself in the Lord, and then I get all my desires. Now, delight yourself in the Lord, and then his desires become your desires. And you want to do what he wants you to do. So it's not, I really should do this, I really ought to do this. No, in prayer, God changes you to love what he loves, hate what he hates, and and to rejoice in what is right. This is why Christians can be happy. You don't just have to do dutiful obedience. If you you see a Christian that's walking with their head down, miserable, but they're obedient, they're disobeying this part of the prayer. Because eventually what happens is you delight to do what God wants you to do. There's always a struggle, there's always a wrestle, but this is where Jesus wants us to be. Your kingdom come, right? Your kingdom come. 